What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Cricut released one of the coolest updates I've seen in a long time and that is something I think a lot of people have been asking for and it's to take an image and to make it cuttable layers so you can layer your project from uploading any image that you have and I'm going to talk about what are the best kind of images to use, how you can get on board with this, and just a few tips and tricks while we're at it. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is head over to Cricut Design Space. Now, I want you to do something before we do anything else, and that is to make sure that you currently have the beta version installed. Because as of today's date, the Cricut Design Space is only in beta with this function. So if you have your Cricut Design Space updated, but you're not finding this feature, it is because it is only available at the current moment of this video in beta. In the future, you can probably skip this step, but as it is right now, um, we are in beta and I'm going to show you how you can turn Cricut Design Space into beta. So you want to head over to this arrow here and you want to go down to settings and you'll see application experience here and it says beta or live. So I've switched over to beta. It was live before. If you click on the beta, it will reboot your Cricut Design Space and turn it over to a beta system. Now I caution you when you do this because if you are in beta, uh, beta is a testing mode. So it likely will be buggy. Um, you can switch back by doing the exact same steps, but in case you're finding a lot more bugs when you're creating your project. That's probably why. All right. So now that you've updated your Cricut Design Space into beta, we're going to upload and we're going to grab an image. I'm using this mini mouse image here. So let's load that in. Now this is already a PNG file, which means that it had the background removed already, but if it did not have the background removed, you, you can already remove the background in Cricut Design Space by manually selecting and erasing the background and cleaning up the image up that way. Or if you have Cricut Access, then you can hit this remove background button and it would automatically remove for you. And you may have to make some adjustments based on how complicated your image is. So mine looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and continue. And now this screen should look a little bit different than if you have not updated to beta, you will not have this multiple layers function. You will only see single layer and like a flat graphic. And it actually will say, I think I believe print and cut image and cut layer image. So it's, it's a little bit different than the language there as well. But on the screen, you want to try the multiple layers and you will notice this is also only currently available to Cricut access subscribers. So head on over to that. Now, this doesn't look like much right now. This doesn't look right. That's okay. We're just going to hop in and we're going to make some adjustments here. So with our mini, we know that she has more than two colors. So here you can play with the different color layers here to see how many colors you want. So nine layers here probably is a bit too much. And you can see at the top here, all the different layers separately. So it's got a white layer. Uh, it's got you know, all these, all these different layers. I think there's too many dark layers here. So these three brownish blackish colors could easily be one layer. So I'm going to tone that down. And I think I'm going to go here because even my reds, I don't need quite so many layers. So this is a clip art image. So I am uploading it as clip art. They do have a photo option. I haven't played too much into this quite yet. I don't think it's going to be very good um, because photos are usually very heavy on the number of colors that they have. Uh, but do come in and play around with this depending on your image. You never know. You could probably get it cleaned up to a state that you'd be happy with to go ahead and use for a project. Now, Output style here, there's two options. You have stacked, which basically means that you'd be layering on a on top of each other. So you would have your base white layer, you would throw this layer on top of that, that layer on top of that, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of like a, when you're making a paper mandala where you have the multiple layers and they just build on top of each other rather than cutting things out separately. Now the sliced layer, is what we're going to be traditionally using for things like HTTP projects. So here you have the white layer cut out separately, just the face isolated, the shoes and so on, and then our outline layer here. So this is really good for like HTTP projects. So you're not laying it on too thick versus the stack. Like again, maybe you wanted to do a three-dimensional mandala piece and you can do that in here now. 
super easy. You don't have to buy all those Etsy files anymore. You can just create your own based on whatever image you're using. Um, so that's really nice and fun. And again, we can adjust the layers here and this adjusts like how smooth and how much it's taking per layer. So if you have a really, really fuzzy kind of image, it might be worthwhile to play in here a little bit just to, just to get it just right for you to tone it down. I didn't find too much success with these only because it seems very limited in what it can actually pull at the moment. But again, it's nice that they have that feature and I do love that they have this preview option so you can actually see everything before you go ahead to continue. Now, the only other thing that really kind of bugs me about it is I can't adjust the colors. So if you look at my other video where I show you how to create SVG files from PNG files, then you will see that you can actually um, adjust the the tone of the colors a little bit where here you're stuck with picking whatever they kind of decided to pick for you. The other limitation with this right now is that when you are saving this as a file, you don't have an SVG cut file that you can, you know, go ahead and send, send to your friend. It's kind of stuck in Cricut Design Space. Um, I have not found a way to pull it out yet. I'm going to be working on that soon. But at the moment, it's stuck in Create Design Space. So if you watch my other video, I can show you how to create PNGs to SVG files that are not limited to Cricut Design Space. Otherwise, this is a pretty good in like built-in function. You can save it. All right. And you'll see over here, it's got all the different layers here. We can just pull those off and you can see them all there. Look at that. So that is awesome. That's pretty much it. It's super nice and easy in Cricut Design Space. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other Cricut Design Space tutorials. Until next time, bye!